And I want to introduce you to my guest today, Lori Texera. She's here. She is a therapist and a coach, and she specializes in helping women with their negative beliefs and her program. Lori, Lori, hello, hello. Hi, everyone. Hi, Simone. Thank you for having me. Oh, I know. What a moment that I come in on the show, too, when you're talking about what I do, right? <laughs> I, know, you were I so didn't realize perfect. that part. It's like, wow, this is my time. It's perfect. It's so perfect. So why don't you introduce yourself to all okay. of the ladies here? Oh, okay. Hi. My name is Lori Texera, and I am a therapist. I have been practicing therapy for a little over 30 years now. Um, over the past 15, my life has taken on a different kind of spiritual track when I went to work for the military and um, felt I was divinely guided to go working there and had no clue what to do with helping trauma. Um, and I ended up being shown techniques that really worked on soldiers letting go of their trauma. So it became both this personal journey of me learning how to let go of stuff, practicing it, and then working with soldiers who were the best of saying yes, ma'am, to anything that I asked them to do. So I was placed in the right place because there were no objections when I said, you want to try this? You want to try this? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I was like, okay. Um, but for the past 15 years, it has really taken me on a very deep journey of becoming a healer. And even now, it's kind of hard for me to say I don't, I own it. But saying it here, I'm like owning it. It's like, okay, I am owning what I have become. Um, and through this time, um, I have specialized in healing trauma. And two years ago, I felt I was being guided to uh, go bigger. So I had my private practice. I went from the military to a private practice in 2011. Very comfortable. It was thriving. 50% military, 50% women. So my, um, on healing trauma, but two years ago, I started hearing it's time for you to stop doing this one-to-one -one and work with more and go one to many. So I was like, okay, all right, let me get out of my comfort zone. So I started to do half day workshops, um, on healing, letting go negative beliefs, shifting and really moving forward. And I was starting to get on a roll with doing them and networking. Well, 2020 came and as I'm networking, COVID started and shut it down. I was like, oh, well, what am I supposed to do now? And I was like, you know what? Well, you go online and do. And I was like, online, I don't go online. Lori doesn't go online. <laughs> Lori does things face to face. Lori talks to people, the energy, they hear me. We work well like that. It works. This online thing, I don't even know if I have 10 family members on Facebook. I don't know anything about it. But it was like, no, there's not a choice. There's a lot of people in the world who are going to need healing and you need to get out there. So I said, okay. So um, I started a mastermind program to figure out how I get online and figure this out that I have no idea what I'm supposed to even do. So I spent most of 2020 trying to figure out how to be able to do this. But the one thing that had been really, really difficult is I didn't know how to get an online presence. And not only did I not know how to get an online presence at all, the beliefs that you talked about here resurfaced for me. Because I'm like, uh-oh, but if I'm online, I'm in a bigger league because there are plenty of people out there talking about trauma and they've been doing it for a long time. And they do trainings and they teach courses and they're like top of the field. Who's going to want to start listening to me online? So the stuff that wasn't a problem in my practice, wasn't a problem going out and talking to people was now becoming a problem. But thankfully I have ways to get, release them and let them go and keep moving forward. But it really has taken me much of 2020 to even figure out how to break into going online and setting up strategies and practices. So I would listen to a webinar and they would tell me something, I'd be gung ho, all right, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna go do it. And it lasts about a week. Man, they weren't there to tell me to keep going. So I'd be like, oh, I'll try this and I'll do this. I'll go listen to another one. And I would do that one. So I would just go from thing to thing. And then I would do Facebook for a little while. Like, oh, I'm tired of Facebook. Let me go on Instagram. I don't know Instagram. How do I do Instagram? Then I have to figure that out. Okay, let me do Instagram. Uh, it's 
it's okay, but I don't, I don't do the picture thing. Let me try LinkedIn. So I'd be all over the place. So by the end of 2020, I figured out I really didn't get very far. I had a vision, but there was no action behind it. Um, so when Simone did her retreat last time, I was like, okay, well, that sounds like another, let me just do this other retreat. <laughs> what the heck? It'll give me some vision. I'll try it for a little while and see if I get better. Well, no, there was just something that really shifted and cemented for me when she was doing the roadmap that just felt really different. And I think one of the key pieces that really made it different was she was going to take me through the entire thing. So when I did all those other trainings, it was wonderful, but when the training was done, so was the presenter and they weren't going to hold your hand. They weren't going to kick your butt when you needed to. They weren't going to keep teaching you. Um, you were kind of on your own, but Simone was going to be with me the whole way. And I was like, okay, I think that that's what I need is I need somebody who's going to be able to do that and not only do that, but really give me a system a strategy and teach me the whole, everything that I really need to know from beginning to end, which was also very important to me because I wanna know all parts of my business. I wanna know how to do things. So when I get at a point where I can give it to somebody else, I know what I'm talking about. I know the language, I know what kind of to expect. I've gotten my brand, I got my why, I know what I wanna say. Um, so it was really important for me to learn all of those foundational pieces myself. And I felt like the Digital Academy gave me all of that already and so much more. So that's kind of my introduction and part of why I'm here today um, talking about it and sort of, um, yeah. Wonderful. So. Thank you so much. Thank you, Laura. Yeah, you, you kind of answered a lot of questions I had for you. And just so you know, guys, she got in um, the first week of February. So she's just in now, I think you're less than eight or nine, right? So I finished the whole first piece. In module, yes, mm -hmm. yes. Wonderful, wonderful. So I know you touched on the calls mm -hmm. and I know how, how important that piece is for people, but I wanna just get back one, one minute here and ask you, when you were thinking about joining, were there any hesitations like, did you think, you know what, this is going to be a lot of work or, you know what, I'm going to try this by myself. Um, did you have any trepidations in that sense? One of the biggest um, trepidations was doing it for 11 months and sticking to something for 11 months. Because 2020, remember, I was being in from person to person and thing to thing to try and get me to a comfortable place and it didn't work. So the hesitation was committing for 11 months, but at the same point, it was that same commitment to doing it for that long and really building something that was going to last and give me the foundation and the structure and accountability and everything I needed. It was that dual edge. It was both what I was hesitant about, but what I knew I needed. Really good. I didn't know that. Really yeah. good. So thank you, Lori. Thank yeah. you so much. Now, if you had any 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 advice for anybody that's maybe on the fence or you know are thinking maybe this is for me, maybe I'll try it out that you would give. Yeah. So one thing was it already has been. Um I feel in the two months that I've been doing the program, I already have a strategy one um and meeting um with simone for accountability and to answer any questions has really been helpful because i will say also i know you just taught this and that's what i did but what do you think if i go there she's like okay well can we rewind where are you trying to go Lori? <laughs> what are you trying to do i'm like oh uh yeah am i distracting myself again she goes oh, yeah okay can we roll it back oh, okay thank you you're right you're right because i will go off and do something else so to keep me accountable and focused on that building blocks. So one, that's really helpful. And um, when it's something that I'm kind of a little hesitant to do because I haven't really done it and it's out of my comfort zone again, then we will talk about it, address it, and she'll say, okay, so now you're going to do it, right? And I'm like, well, she gave me those eyes. She gave me eyes yesterday. She gave me eyes. And I was like, yes, I will do it. 
I don't want eyes. I will do it. And I did it as soon as I got off the call from you. Okay. Oh my gosh. That's so I awesome. I love it. Uh, but that is exactly what I need is, but it feels extremely supportive. Um, and that's the other part is if I didn't do it, I know I'd go back next week and she would say, okay, what do we need to do to get you there? Right. Cause I know you can do it. She's not going to ask you to do anything that she knows you're not capable of doing and she's there to support you. So, um, so yes, but it kicked me into gear and I did it and I didn't put it off because normally I would say, okay, I've got the weekend I've got, you know, and then something else will happen. And then by next week's like, oh, I never really did that. Right. But look at my to-do list for this week. So what's more important, go back and do that. All this new to-do list that I have, then it'll be the to-do list. Um, so no, I have really done, um, I make the commitment to doing, watching the video, downloading the stuff and doing the homework. And that has been my commitment to myself. And then what comes up that I feel like I struggle with, that's what the call's about and figure out how to get through that part to keep me going. Beautiful. Thank you so much. I want to know about that eye that I made. What is the eye? Well, no, it's more like a, <laughs> like, are you going to kid me, Lori? Are you going to tell me? <laughs> That you couldn't do that? You're really going to sit here and tell me you couldn't do that? With a smile on her face, though, right? <laughs> I was just like, oh, no, that's not going to work. It's not going to work. <laughs> you know where it's coming from, right? You know. Only the heart. And that's why I was like, okay. But again, that's why I was like, when well, she's right. So when I get off, I absolutely did it. Because like, it's not, why am I making a bigger deal? It's not as big of a deal as I, I was making it. And I felt so much better and really um, pat myself on the back that it was done. So, yes. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Awesome. And yes, so thank you. I, I am your biggest cheerleader. You know that all my students know that, but I am your coach. I am going to be your coach. Awesome. Thank you so much. This is so good. I'm going to bring everybody here just to hear the things. So, okay. We, I know we are um, almost out of time here, but Lori has a gift for you. So what are you going to gift them? So one, gonna I, a um, drawing. we're going to do a drawing. Do a drawing. So are, two things. Yeah. Um, and I know about my website, but on my website, if you go to the website and it, when it pops up, there is a free ebook. It's a journal. Um, mm -hmm. That's an entire journal that if you want to um, download it, you can download it and just really ask a lot of good questions about where you're at, journeying, um, looking at supports and kind of changing your um, mindset and shifting. Um, and the second thing is I wanted to offer someone in a drawing tonight, a free healing session to get rid of and shift one of these blocks that you were talking about tonight mm -hmm. so that it doesn't hold you back in the same way. And to know that shifts can really, really occur mm -hmm. and they don't have to hold you back. Even if you don't even understand all the reasons why they're there, that's not necessary to have change. So I wanted to offer a free session to the winner um, and you just have to email me and let me know what times are good. And we will come up with a time. And it takes between 45 minutes and an hour to complete. That's awesome. And by the way, I had that session. That's, I don't have overwhelm. Did I tell you that? I don't have any more. That feeling, I don't even, well, we probably felt it. Um, this is awesome. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you so much.